guys, it's BB. Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful monarch butterflies. I hope that all of y'all are having a lovely, lovely day. All right, so in today's video, I will be doing a fall flip through of this patchwork junk journal that I have made from scratch. Now, <laughs> it's gonna take me a little bit to break down this one because I put a lot of love into this guy and I hope that it shows. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so on the cover, you can see that I have put, well, this is vintage, these little flowers here are vintage so is this little trim here so vintage vintage and then this as well i absolutely love how it looked on the spine of this journal covering up the signature it is a one signature journal that's what it looks like uh, with its mouth <laughs> and then this is not vintage this is actually from the Hobby Lobby but I did incorporate fabrics in the back that you can see this lady was um, doing a yard sale and she had a bag full a paper bag full of just like scraps and stuff well I picked it up and these caught my attention it just gave me that fall feel and that's what you're seeing here I just cut them into several little pieces and to make it into a patchwork and then here I have added a little bit of charms. Actually, I reached out to Anna asking her opinion as far as like Anna Chateau, if, uh, if it was okay looking or if it looked bad because I had looked at it for so long and I worked on it for so long. I don't know if you guys end up, you know, going through that at some point where you stare at a project for so long, you start to question it. <laughs> so I kind of had a little bit of that. But anyways, I took a little bit of charms and I added this leaf here just because it, it gives that fall feel. And then I created this beautiful tassel here with all kinds of different fabrics and little ribbons. I especially love this gold one. It's so, so pretty. And I feel like it goes really, really good with the maroon and gold tones in this fabric here. And then you can see some of this eyelet fabric as well let me see there you go it's very pretty i actually love this tassel and i thought it made it look very very nice and then i did a little bit of sequin mix here i don't remember who gave me the sequin mix but i did end up sewing each individual little sequence there i would have liked to do more but i did run out of these particular colors and I wanted to have more reds and, and golds and stuff just because I didn't want it to look overly Christmas. And then this is a tie closure with some of this gold ribbon. It is very pretty. I actually like it a lot. And if we open her up, we have this cute little belly band that I added this sweet little... I guess it would be referred to like a little applique or a little iron-on. There we go. A little iron-on that I picked up at a thrift shop. And I decided to put that in there because I thought it looked very pretty. And then I just have a little sheet that I ended up getting from Terry over at Terry's place. And that tucks in here. Sorry. You can see the orange um, trim here underneath this lace this beige lace and I thought it was really nice here we have a cute little pocket with some goodies inside and my, one of my friends Yahida she ended up giving me some scrapbooking stuff and a little bit of ephemera was in there so I decided to incorporate that and you can see stitching all around this page and then this is from Dolly over at the Paper Plumeria. I decided to incorporate this beautiful trim on the edge of this paper. I thought it would look really pretty. And then here I DIY'd a cute little charm using some of the beads that Crystal and Kara gave me. Crystal over at Vividly on Paper and Kara over at Caramio's Corner along with one of the printables that Crystal also shared with me. You can see her here. She's very beautiful with her fox. She looks like a fairy. And then here is a cute little pocket with some lace and a brad and some cute little ephemera. You can journal here, perhaps put a mini little photo if you'd like. Some ledger. And then this here is a cute little envelope, paper, music paper envelope. And you can put some goodies inside of here. There's nothing in there, but it also has a little pocket here as well. 
which I thought was very, very pretty. We have um, some coloring pages here. It says, make known among the nations what he has done. And I really like all the flowers that are here. So you could do some fall coloring, some book pages, another book page for journaling. And it says, it's my party, the best party ever. And you can maybe write about Thanksgiving or something here. And here's another little journaling spot with this cute little pumpkin, also from my beautiful friend, Terry. And then these are some winnings, this little journaling card, some winnings from Midge's Mountain Crafts. And there's goodies stuffed in this pocket. And I actually received this from Angela. I will be featuring that on a hashtag Friendship Friday. Put that in here. So thank you, Angela. A cute little doily. We got some cute little mushrooms here from your creative studio. We have some more scrapbooking paper here. One of the um, little cards that Kara also gave me. I think it's very, very pretty. You could do some journaling there or perhaps put some washi tape here and you could have a little flip out just like that. That would look really and cute. This is just a little piece that says from. It was attached to a postcard. Some vellum sheets. We have another little applique here with some more beads that I have attached. Very pretty. And then this here. That's what it looks like on the other side. If we pull this out, you can see there is some speckled food dye on there. And it's orange and I think it looks very pretty. I love it. Here is another little card you can maybe attach again with some washi tape and do a sweet little flip out there. Uh, this cute little tag that I've attached like a small cluster to it, also from Terry, and some faux handmade paper. If we flip over to the side, you have a small journaling card to write some notes. I'm gonna go ahead and reattach this. Moving right along, some scrapbooking paper. Here is a cute little belly band with the journaling card so super pretty with these embossed gold birds and it tucks into this belly band just like this with this uh, thicker you can see that cute butterfly very pretty some vintage wallpaper here backed up on the other side we have some scrapbooking paper with a lace pocket there so pretty and it looks so delicate we have some mushrooms. This comes from Dale, not too shabby chic, and I decided to incorporate it because who doesn't love mushrooms? And a small journaling, uh, what is it, bookmark, tag, whatever you want to call it. Very, very pretty. And then here, this also comes from Kara. It's just a little custom order ticket. And then if we flip over to this side, we have some tea dyed music paper with some more goodies. This is a card that I ended up also getting from Angela so thank you Angela and that tucks in there just like this this is a small little envelope with a journaling card and a cute little ephemera thing there very pretty and then here we have this beautiful bird and I loved all the orange tones in here with the greens and this bird's just so pretty. And you can see the different variety of, of stitches that I've done throughout the journal. This is not my idea. I actually ended up borrowing this from Kara where she does like a little pocket within a flip, a little flip out here. Look at this applique, isn't this gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. I actually got those in some giveaway winnings. And then you can do a little bit journaling here, perhaps do some journaling there as well. And we got some cute ephemera here. I picked this up from Tuesday morning. Very pretty, so whichever side suits your fancy, you can use. And this comes from my friend Yahida. Decided to incorporate that too. This comes from Kara. And these goodies tuck in there just like this. And then a vintage children's book page which I thought would go really, really, really cute. And you can see the puppy there, 
within the flowers chasing a butterfly. Tea dyed paper, lightly tea dyed. And then this idea comes from Rosie over at Rosie's Creative Wings. This idea is not my own, but I really liked how she did it in one of my journals and I decided to do my own little spin on it. And then I did a cute blue charm here up top with some beading, very pretty. If we flip over to this side, I did a little circle punch uh, charm here with a butterfly. And then I attached some of this fabric because I thought it was so pretty to go with the orange and yellow tones that we have on this side. This is a little flip out. You have a sweet little pocket here to tuck some little ephemera in there. Here we have another little pocket with this chunky little bird sitting on the vine there. Very pretty. And then here, my daddy ended up having some of these little tags that he had at his work that were going to get tossed. And I asked him if I could keep them. And so I decided to incorporate one of them in here because I thought it would fit perfectly. This is another little journaling tag. It says, every time my family gets together, we, and I thought this would be perfect for like Thanksgiving and you can journal down everything that y'all do for Thanksgiving. And... Here we have a sweet little belly band with an acorn and a leaf, very pretty. Another children's journaling, I mean, another children's uh, book page with some squirrels and beautiful birds and fall colors throughout. Very pretty. I love those colors. I had a lot of fun working on this journal, putting it together, although it took me forever. And we have a little sentiment down here with a banner. I believe this also comes from Kara or Midges Mountain Crafts. Sorry if I forget, it's just a lot. <laughs> here we have a little journaling tag with some collaging that I did on a master board. And then you can do some journaling on the back. Here's a little envelope from your creative studio. It says, fly to you, you are so special to me. These tuck in just like this. And then we have a little pocket here with a sunflower stamped on the left hand side. Here's another little tag with another pocket here and a small acorn. Here is some vintage ledger page. This is the center of the journal. I decided to keep these long with just in case if you want to undo the bow, you can attach your very own beads if you end up wanting to do that or maybe if you find sometimes like little acorns little acorn heads i thought that would make for a cute charm too if y'all end up coming across one of those that a squirrel has opened that would be really cute here this comes from angela i decided to put this little border here it's very golden and pretty and i have also attached some beads here with a little safety pin and a ruffle little sentiment give thanks the children's book again with the cute owl he's trying to get a nap in and the birds around him are being so loud and chit chatty that they just won't let him sleep and i figured i'd incorporate that because it's so cute um here i tried to do some rub-ons it didn't work out too good but i kind of liked what it ended up looking like at the end this here is a pocket so you can tuck in some goodies there this comes from Terry. It's a little wooden uh, chipboard, I guess. And then here again, Paper Plumeria. Thank you, Dolly. It looks so, so pretty. I did a tutorial on these seals using hot glue on my channel. If you would like to see that, I will be linking that down below. And then a little um, cluster here in the back and a vintage doily here. Here is a pocket. This was made by Kim's Inspired Life, and I thought it would be very fitting to put within this journal. It's so super pretty. I love how she collaged here. Very pretty. And a little rub-on that also Kara had given me in the boo mail that we received recently. It's very cute. I love it. And then here, the children's book page. We have some cute ephemera here. This comes from Angela, your creative studio. Another delicate lace pocket here. It's 
very gorgeous. I love the scrapbooking paper. I love all the numbers in the back. I think it just adds a very gorgeous look. Some more of that tea dyed music paper. And here is a little pocket that you can perhaps put photos or anything that you'd like in there. And that tucks in there just like this. Another cute little charm here. Let me get a, a little close up there. Lots of charms. And here is a journaling card that I've done some collaging on. And I kind of love the way that the ledger paper in the back is peeking out. And I did another little rub on here with some more of that vintage ledger paper. And then here we have another uh, sticker up top. I love the fall colors. This reminds me of wallpaper. This is actual vintage uh, wallpaper. Some more scrapbooking paper. Here's a little tuck. You can put something cute there. And then we have some vintage playing cards. These, um, This one comes from Pam Vanny, so thank you, Pam. And this I picked up at a thrift shop. And a little cluster here. You can tuck some goodies in there with a little cluster. Very cute. Some uh, interactive little brad leaf here, or you could use it as a tuck. And I've got some more of that Your Creative Studio ephemera here. And then some vellum paper. Some more goodies tucked in here. Important message. And then this here too is a pocket with some goodies for collaging. Some eyelash trim, very cute. And it tucks in here just like that. It's fall, y'all. <laughs> we have another one of those little iron-on appliques that I've put here. And the other side of that doily. Here we have some goodies tucked inside this little pocket here. And that's what it looks like on the other side. Got some little ephemeris here for you. Perfect for collaging. Some more journaling spaces. Another uh, book page. Some more of that coloring book page. And then here I've collaged. I don't want to take it off because then this one's a little more difficult to put on. But I'll get y'all a close up of this master board tag and you can see i've incorporated some book page in a different language here in the back which i thought was really nice some ledger paper we have another little journaling spot here perfect for adding maybe photos and i love this trim here very very pretty also from terry and that is the end of the journal you have a cute little tuck spot here or a belly band um, I don't remember who gifted me this. I don't recall, but it's very pretty, and I like anything that looks like macrame or crocheted. Very pretty. And that is it. I've attached a cute little sticker there with a mushroom. And if I did not already show y'all the back, this is what the back looks like. And once again, if you are interested in this journal, I will be linking it in my Poshmark down below so you guys can check it out. Or if y'all want more info on it, feel free to head on over there and maybe show me some love. All right, you guys, that wraps it up for me for now. I hope that y'all have a lovely rest of y'all's day. Y'all take care and I will catch y'all on the next one. Wow.